Hello there guys, this is Stranger Hedge 9 and I'm back again with another gameplay commentary. Today I'm just showing a little bit of the new Alma Free beta that has just came out. Uh, I've been playing this game since the alpha for Alma Free and I just wanted to show you uh, how graphically intensive and insane this game is. Uh, so I'm running flaps right now, I'm running this at 1920 by 1080 um, with pretty much everything maxed out. Um, here's my settings right here, and as you can see, pretty much everything is is maxed out. And uh, my system specs are the AMD FX 8350 uh, overclocked to 4.3 gigahertz uh, for the CPU, and the 7970, one of the most powerful single GPUs um, available. And as you see, we're getting like 17 frames a second. This is just completely insane. Uh, so what I want to do is actually let's let's show pretty much what's the game maxed out some actual in-game footage. So let's just go into a little bit of multiplayer. And definitely this game is very very playable. Uh, you know, why did scopes? That doesn't even make any sense. So, uh, Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what happened. Those scripts popped up. So let us actually get into some random game. Alright, let's see how... Right, these are all empty servers, empty servers. Why is every server empty right now? Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see... 2 of 7 or whatever, that's fine. Can you please join? Okay. That's a weird. Let's try this server. Hmm. What one of the things I wanted to talk about is how, in my opinion, things. I don't even understand what's happening here. There you go, one in a random server was probably no people. Uh, okay. Uh, continue? Okay. Well, it looks like, uh... I don't know what this is. This is, this is crazy. Let's just try to get into any server. Okay, that's password protected. As you see, finding servers can sometimes be a little bit of a chore. Here we go. Here we go, we're finally in a server. So, basically, other than talking about... I mean, this game is amazing to look at. It's amazing to play. Um, some of the things are a little... I don't want to say broken, but... I almost have to say broken because I think actually for some reason when they went from the alpha to the beta things have gotten gotten worse like literally have gotten worse in terms of system stability uh, but let's just see how the game looks when it actually boots up in max settings we'll just see how, how we're looking here obviously the longer load times for this game is kind of um, understandable when you think about how big the map is. Uh, so that's pretty forgivable. Um, some of the just getting into lobbies can be very difficult sometimes. Script used for hacking not found. I don't. Why would we want? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, just, uh, yeah, that's, that's fine. Let me spawn on him. And here you see, in-game. What's going on, which, I mean, if you do look, it does look, I mean, absolutely insane. Like, I mean, this is like two or three generations away on the console. Um, but you are seeing, I mean, even on this insane system, I mean... Look, look, I want you to just look at the draw distance here. This is like at least several miles. Uh, pretty much nothing, no other game is like this in the world, pretty much. 
Um, I don't think, to be honest, that anything is going to come out on the console uh, that is going to approach this for several years. And even on the PC, this game is just completely insane. I mean, look at that building from, like, probably two miles away, minimum. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to show you what some of this looks like, like what armor looks like on Mac settings um, with a system that can handle it, but I also want to stress that even for playing it at pretty reasonable settings, you're going to have to have a pretty decent system for this game because this is one of the few games that's really built for the PC. Like, this is one of those games that they actually built 100% for PCs, and not even for PCs, really for high-end PCs, to be completely honest. Um, let's let's look at the frames now when we adjust some of the settings. Up, oh, up, oh, and there's a teammate we have. Hey, buddy. How are you? He seems confused, but we're just kind of milling about with him. Look at this. Up, oh, up. Oh, there's, there's another teammate. He looks... Where's this guy going? Okay, I'm gonna follow him up the hill here for a minute. Let's just get on top of this hill and show some actual gameplay on top of this hill. Um, one of the biggest things I think that it really should somewhat tell you if you if you're going to enjoy this game or not is what do you like in terms of a game? Like, this is... Even calling a game is not really correct. It's really much, much better to call this a simulator because there's not much gameplay elements. Like, you're not just going to go around shooting people. And, and that's the thing you have to understand about this game. This, this is really an experience type of game. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is we're going to... Just modify a few settings just to let you guys see what it's going to look like on a variety of settings. So right here you see we're getting 14 frames a second. Pretty painful. Uh, let's do let's do auto detect and see what it recommends for me. Oh well, that didn't was not not help matters at all. Um, probably the easiest thing is going. Let, let's just take this and put it back to let's say standard and let's take this and put it to two and uh yeah very high let's disable that and let's see i would turn uh i would turn down the resolution but i'm not sure you can in 